Hello, so here we are with the final community mission and this is Sagittarius which is get 25 kills with the QBB95 which is actually the QBB95-1 in the game but hey, that's a small thing. So this isn't a gun I've used a lot and I was very surprised while using it on this community mission how good it is at range. So that was the first long range kill I got and I thought well yeah that's kind of you know one of those things. And then I kept getting long range kills with a QBB95. And I don't know what the gun's stats are. I don't know if it's got something incredible about it. But it just feels really good using it at long range. Loadout wise, I'm running it with the Prisma 3.4x scope on it. I've got the heavy barrel on it, which I started with just because this is a long range map. So I thought I'll stick the heavy barrel on it. But I bounced that out by having the stubby grip on. So I've got a bit of help at range and a bit of help on full auto. Later on I changed the stubby grip over to the angled grip because I thought well if this is good at long range I'll make it as good at range as I can so I can burst fire it and take advantage of the angled grip. But even with the heavy barrel it's still pretty good at close range. Ok you're not going to win any firefights against anything designed for close range but you're also not really going to lose that many. I did surprisingly well hip firing the QBB95 which I really don't think it's that designed for. Ok it is a bullpup so it's going to be more manoeuvrable than a normal gun but it seems like this thing does just about everything you want it to do. It seems really good at range, it seems to hip fire ok so I pretty much like this gun. When it comes to using LMGs I've tended to stick to the same two. So when the game first started I used the M249 because you unlock that through the single player and it's a pretty good all round LMG. Then I went to using the AWS because it was the best LMG. Then that got nerfed and I went to using the L86A2 because that was pretty much my favourite LMG at the time. That got nerfed. Since then I haven't really had a favourite. I've played around with a few but usually end up going back to the M249 just because it's a good all round gun and it's easy to use. Now I might go to the QBB95 because that seems to be a very good all round gun as well. Probably better at range than the M249 is. So besides giving me a few little challenges and a few dog tags these community missions may well have found me my new LMG of choice. And this is indeed the last of those community missions. Now I know these are designed to be able to be done by anybody but they're not very challenging. 25 kills with a weapon in a day is not really a challenge and I look back and when these missions first came out they ran for over a week so that was 25 kills with the QBB95 in a week. Now that does mean that you didn't miss it if you didn't play every day so maybe one of the things they can do to add some extra content over the next year or so before Battlefield 5 comes out is do a few more of these community challenges but make them more of a challenge, something that actually gets the community interested in them. So maybe a series of them like the Zodiac but at the end you get an extra special shiny dog tag or camo. Things that aren't really hard to put into the game and design but would get people doing the missions for the rewards. Anyway. That was it, that was the QBB95 so I had to then go and claim it as I've done many times before and then that got me the Sagittarius dog tag. And I guess the last three of these community missions will be over January, February and March because it's Capricorn something and Pisces which are the star signs for those months. But for this round of community missions we're all done. That's all nine of the Scorpio dog tags that have been released so far got and done. And if nothing else it's given me some pretty easy to do videos for over the Christmas period. There's now going to be a break of about a week in the videos because it's New Year and I've got things to do and a new project to start. But when I get back there'll be two videos. One which is going to be a look back at Battlefield 4 so far and the second video is going to be a look forward to what we can expect to come at the end of next year which will be Battlefield 5. Anyway, I hope you've had a good new year because I think this is scheduled to go up on New Year's Day and thanks for watching.